We're just about a third of the way through the month of October and every day so far this month we have seen high temperatures in the 80s in Lexington. The hottest day of the month so far was back on Sunday where we reached 89 degrees. Now still not quite the longest stretch of 80 degree days that we've seen in the month of October. We have to go back to 1963 when 12 days in a row we're at 80 or above and it does look like we'll tack on one more tomorrow, but that's when the streak will end. High temperatures today right around 80 degrees across central and eastern in Kentucky. Then as a strong cold front blows through overnight, temperatures will tank. We'll only be in the upper 60s for a high tomorrow, even chillier as we look ahead to Friday as our afternoon temperature will max out in the upper 50s and we'll continue to bounce around the 60s uh, through the weekend, even into much of next week. So outside right now, it's 70. It's warmer right now than where it's going to be for a high temperature tomorrow. Skies still mostly clear over downtown Lexington, but as we go throughout the morning, those clouds will be thickening up as we await the changes that are going to come with that strong cold front that will march from west to east over the next 24 hours or so. On the Max Track Live Doppler, the bluegrass is quiet. We are beginning to see more light returns beginning to fill across southern Kentucky. Some drizzle, even a little bit of virga may be popping up, especially down to the south, closer to the Tennessee state line. Another swath of some spotty showers tracking through western Kentucky. That's all out ahead of that strong cold front, which right now is pretty much straddling the Mississippi River as you can see, a line of storms running from western Wisconsin back along the mighty river, back through St. Louis and even towards the Gulf of Mexico. We're on the warm side right now. Meanwhile, on the flip side, snow is falling across Nebraska and also Dakotas, even into northern Minnesota this morning. It's not going to be getting quite that cold here in the bluegrass, but we are going to be seeing a sharp drop off in temperature once that cold front swings through. So as we go throughout the course of the morning, for the most part, we're dry. As we hit lunchtime and continue into the afternoon, that's when those scattered showers will begin to move in. Also, some gusty thunderstorms can't be ruled out, along with the strong winds, some small hail, and locally heavy rain will be possible. That trend continues through the overnight hours. The cold front will sit over the bluegrass as we go through the wee hours of the morning, but then watch how quickly we see the rain is shutting down on future track. Still waking up to some of those showers tomorrow morning, but by lunchtime, everything exits the bluegrass and by late in the day, showers are completely out of the Commonwealth, allowing that chilly air to move in. Now, a strong cold front is also going to be a driving force for Hurricane Michael, which right now is a Category 4 hurricane as it continues to lift closer to the Florida Panhandle. Maximum sustained winds right now checking in at 140 miles per hour. We may see a little bit more strengthening before Michael makes landfall sometime this afternoon across the port, uh, Florida Panhandle, somewhere probably close to Panama City, as the storm that it continues to move over the land. It will be weakening, but still spreading rain across the southeast 